everyone, and welcome to the Today Show Toronto. I am your host, Julia Rimaldi. My guest today is Christine LaChapelle. Christine is representing Emp Empower Simcoe, and she will be telling us about her role as the innovation and independence activator. I will be talking to Christine about the amazing programs and support Empower Simcoe offers. And we will be also chatting about how technology can be used to support independent living. Welcome, Christine, and thank you for being with us today. Hi, Julia. Thanks for having me. I'm really excited to, sh to share the supports and services we have with Empower Simcoe. I first met Christine through a DSO housing navigation webinar. Housing navigation courses are helping me to learn about independence. Our conversations led us all the programs and services Empower Simco provides and how we have been lucky enough to have Christine here with us today. Christine, I have so many questions for you, so let's get started. First, I just wanted to let our audience know that Empower Simco is one of the largest multi-service agencies of its kind in the province. Christine, can you tell us how this came about? Well, Juliet, Empower Simcoe, we aspire to meet the needs of, of all the people in, in Simcoe County. How many staff does Empower Simcoe employ and how many people do you provide services and programs for? Like you said a second ago, we are one of the largest employers in Simcoe County with nearly 600 employees. We support directly 17,000 people and indirectly over 60,000 people and their families. Whoa, that's incredible. Christine, I understand that Empower Simco offers programs and support from birth to end of life. Can you tell us about some of these amazing programs and services and programs? Absolutely. We're truly a multi a multi-service agency that responds to community needs through inclusive programming that improves the quality of all lives. Um, from the Simcoe County Infant and Child Development Program, early on child and family centers, our youth programs in both Barrie and Aurelia, and we also have programs for adults of all abilities. Our mission to empower Simcoe is to empower people to lead a meaningful and inclusive life through the highest quality of services. It must be so helpful for families to be able to count on Empower Simco to provide services from birth to old age. Because we only have a short time today, I would like to focus on your adult services and programs. Can you tell us about the adult programs you offer? Yeah, we have a number between Barry and Aurelia. We have 41 supported living homes that are staffed 24-7. Our supported independent living program helps support individuals who have a who have the ability to live on their own but need some assistance with their daily living. Our community support services program in Barry and Aurelia help people to find and maintain leisure and recreational activities as well as competitive employment in the community. Um, our family relief program assists with various res respite options in Simcoe County and by providing respite funding. Our regional support housing services programs help by finding available and affordable housing for adults and families in Simcoe County. It's one of the largest, it's one of the fastest growing programs due um, in the community due to community need. Um, this area of Ontario has a very high monthly expense, monthly rental rates, as well as a great shortage of available and affordable housing. Our regional housing services program collaborates with landlords, property managers, community partners to provide supports for people at risk of homelessness, experiencing homelessness, or experiencing rental or utility challenges. I have been working on my vision plan to live on my own awesome independent life. And now I will need certain skills. Please tell our audience about some of the supportive independent living programs. Absolutely. At Empower Simcoe, our supported and living, independent living programming is ideal for adults with intellectual disabilities who require minimal individualized supports in areas such as finance, 
home management, shopping, meal prep, and community participation. The program is uniquely tailored to each person and his or her needs. That means that this program is person directed um, driven and will change as the person's needs change. I love how Empower Sumco helps to empower people to lead a full and inclusive life by providing such quality service and support and promote independence. Christine, we have to take a commercial break right now. We'll be right back in a moment. Hello world, it is Unstoppable Tracy with the Disability Channel inviting you to subscribe and watch live on Roku TV on YouTube, on Restream, and also listen in in Wisconsin Radio, Dave Stevens, all around the world. And on top of all of this, really proud to announce that we now also have a mobile app. So you can download for free, watch Roku TV for free, and the mobile app is free too from Google Drive. Be sure to download it and have it at your fingertips at all times. There's a job platform and there's a live chat feature and there's the TV feature with Roku TV and there's also the social media channels. Take care folks, bye for now. I'm Zach Damon, host of the Disability Channel Detroit. Please join us at the Disability Channel and watch the Disability Channel Detroit for all your Michigan disability information. Glad to have you back with us. Christine, can you tell us about the newest position at Empower Simco, the Innovation and Independence Activator? Absolutely. I'm so excited about my new, my new position as the Innovation and Independence Activator. My main goal is to break barriers to independence using technology through assessment, research, and implementation. Would, would you explain how using technology with independent living and break down barriers for people with disabilities? For sure. It helps the people that I support maintain and improve their function, as well as it assists in facil facilitating participation and independence. How do the clients get the devices, programs, apps to help them with their independence? Well, at first, I sit down with the person supported and um, complete an assessment called the Steps to Independence. This assessment helps identify strengths as well as areas that increased supports may be needed. I then research technology that could assist, that can assist in those areas. Um, the person that I'm supporting then trials the tech or the apps and then, and then we help support um, that person to obtain their own personal technology. Wow, that's a great idea, Christine. How does Empower Sumco support clients with the training and challenges when using technology devices? We have areas in both Barry and Aurelia that are set up with, with multiple options of technology. Um, the person that I'm supporting comes to one of those areas and we trial the technology that could be useful to them. Um, once we find something, they are able to take that home for two to three weeks and I assess the entire time to see if I can step in and make any tweaks to, to, improve, um, to improve the use of the technology. I have trouble learning how to use new devices. So it's great to know that people will get to help if they need it. Christine, could you explain how technology can be used in the home to support independence? And can you suggest any apps or devices that will help and to support people in the home? Uh, yeah, for sure. Um, at home, a, a technology she can, can assist with communication, safety, cooking and cleaning, entertainment, and even medication dispensing. Um, um, things like smart speakers, robot vacuums, uh, automatic medication dispensers, and even Google Assistant can really help improve someone's independence. I use my Google Me and Google Nest Hub to help me with many things. When people are in the community, what are some ways technology can be used to support independence? 
Technology can definitely improve safety, communication, assist in organizing somebody's day and even through navigation. Wow, that's amazing. Thanks. Thank you for your great tips. Learning how to deal with money independently is such an important skill. How can technology help with learning how to manage finances? Is there any apps or online programs that could be helpful? Absolutely. Even things as simple as online banking has made has made um, finances that much more accessible. Um, it's the technology has improved the access to ATMs as well. There are online games that help people in learning to make change in identifying currency. I personally love the app called Mint. It connects to your online banking. It helps organize your budget, then automatically deducts from your budget as, as you spend. And there's a pretty amazing website called connectability.ca that has a lot of really useful tools and information. Well, that is amazing. I can't wait to try the app you suggested and check out the and I can't wait to check out your website. Christine, thank you for explaining how technology helps to lower many of the barriers that people with disabilities face. And finally, Christine, where can people find out more about Empower Simco and its amazing programs and services? Well, we have a website, empowersimco.ca, and we can also be found on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Christine, I really want to thank you for telling us all about Empower Simple's quality service and support. We have learned so much about how technology can create independence and improve the lives of people who are differently able. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you for having me.